Okay, thank you for clicking on our video. Let's get right to it. This is our first trip to Hyatt Zalara in Capcana, Dominican Republic. Uh, first impressions is wow. Uh, you pull up, you see uh, nice landscaping, you see nice architectural design, interior finishes, uh, and then the staff just complements all of that with uh, a servant's attitude. Uh, so when you go into the facility, uh, they greet you with uh, champagne, they take your luggage, and then they uh, allow you to go get checked in and then you can start enjoying the property. Here uh, you see your tile on the floor, on the water fountain, on the walls. Uh, you got your nice wood accent. And then over here to the left, there's a check-in area. I believe it was for maybe the uh, VIP members. I'm not for sure, maybe the club members. But then over here to the right uh, is the uh, just the regular uh, club members. And you go down there, they got some nice cool wall art made out of uh, bottle caps. And as you can see, interior furniture and design is all complimentary, very nice, high end. When you get here, you, you're gonna notice right off the bat that all the interior finishes are high end. Everything is just excellent. Shout out to my fellow interior designers and architects who uh, put this together. You guys did an amazing job. And as you leave the lobby, you get a shot of uh, the pool and the beach there's the coffee area there my wife frequented it uh lots of ice cream lots of coffee uh give those workers those tips they really appreciate them there's another bar down here notice the wood uh paneling and then on the ceiling and the wall like i said architecturally this place is elite and i believe it's like four or five years old so they're doing a good job of keeping it up but there's that beautiful view right down to the ocean uh it's amazing one of the things I forgot to mention is before you even get to the property, you go through two security checkpoints. So there's peace of mind with that. To the left there, you go down to the, uh, I wanna say the west side properties or hotel rooms. And then to the right, same thing, uh, more rooms. So the out, uh, outdoor furniture is nice. We sat in them. Uh, they make sure you're not gonna slip and fall on the tile because it does rain off and on from time to time. We were very blessed. It only rained like, I want to say one time the whole week we were there and that happened at night while we were asleep so uh but yeah you go down these stairs you're traversing down you're seeing all this beautiful landscaping and this is probably the focal point of the whole property because it's very grand so when you get down to the bottom of the stairs you just immediately start to see amazing landscaping i mean they went all out with the landscaping uh, from all the trees, the flowers, the shrubs, the palm trees. Uh, those areas right there, that's an area where you can lounge and just hang out, that outdoor furniture there. And at night they set up, you know, fun little activities for you to do, uh, karaoke and all that other stuff. But when I say landscaping is elite, I mean, it is elite. Shout out to the landscape architect team. Those guys killed it because one of the best features about the outdoor spaces is the landscaping it's just it's well kept you can tell it's native to the area because none of it's uh, like wilting away or anything like that plus they water it all the time and they got a full-time uh landscaping crew so it's it's amazing for you club level uh members uh here's one of your interests to the uh your dedicated pool area this area is just specifically for you uh, it's quiet, you get your own bar, and a little rest and relaxation, very quiet. Uh, if, if that's what you need, then that's going to be a good area for you. Man, look at this landscaping. Okay, here's one of the restaurants, Presto. Uh, it's, you're going to find your typical American food here. Uh, stuff you'd find at Chili's, uh, burgers, pizzas, nachos, that kind of stuff. Uh, and it's, it's it's pretty good uh shout out to the guys back there making it uh, we've been to some resorts where they really couldn't capture the essence of american food and uh this place actually had had good food so check them out we, we got a lot of food there uh, while we were at the pool okay right next to presto is another restaurant called waves and you also can eat here uh same thing 
pizzas, burgers, nachos, and a little bit more. I can't remember all, everything on the menu. I just remember those main things because that's what I ate. But at nighttime, it turns into a steakhouse, and uh, the steakhouse was really good. Uh, people complaining about it. You, you guys are probably rich and born with a silver spoon in your mouth, but I thought the ribeye and, and all the starters and sides and the main entree were good. So this is Wave's Grill. Uh, it's, it's very good. I recommend it. Okay, VIP club level members. Here's another entrance to your pool area with your cabanas and covered uh, areas, uh, landscaping. It's, um, it's, it's nice. It's quiet over here. I mean, it's not library quiet, but you know, most people are just relaxing and, and chilling, uh, and all the fun and activities and the music at the, the main pool. But if you just want to be away from everyone, uh, I would recommend over here, you know, you get your one little, uh, hot tub and more lounging areas. Uh, but it's a very quiet area i mean we didn't go over here or pay for it because that's not who we are but if anyone wants that quietness that's where you want to go in this area they bring out food uh they'll have something different every day uh typically the food is local to the area uh over here they have the activities uh playing blackjack making purses uh decorating hats that kind of stuff a lot of people became friends through those activities so if you're looking to make friends uh try out the activities uh here we are walking towards the pool uh lots of uh seats and umbrellas uh the guys are more than happy to uh, get you an umbrella and help you get a towel for your seating area uh when i say guys i mean the people that work there uh, the, pu the pool's beautiful. The, this is the activities pool where people come to have drinks, listen to music, and just uh, rest, relax, have a good time. They'll bring pizzas to you every now and then or uh, cups of fruit. But uh, this is a, a beautiful pool. Uh, they also have activities in the pool. Uh, you can rent those cabanas. Uh, that particular week we were there, uh, Home Depot was doing some celebration with uh, some of their employees. So they, they were pretty cool. But overall, the pool, this is the fun area. Uh, this is the place to be if you want a little bit more than just the rest and relaxation of um, hanging out at the, uh, the club member area. When you're at the main pool, that's the bar you want to go to. Uh, look for my guy, Le Uri. Uh, he'll take care of you. Uh, my wife got a little overzealous the first day we were there. She felt like the liquor was light in her margaritas. And uh, she started asking for double shots of tequila. Next thing I know, uh, by about 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, that sister was done. So we had to go back to the room. But she managed to pace herself the rest of the week. That, that was a pretty funny experience but and a great memory. But uh, if, if you felt like the liquor's a little light, just ask for double shots. They'll take care of you. Uh, ask for my guy, Leuri. He's, he's on point. Okay, moving towards uh, Shutters. Uh, Shutters is a restaurant. I love Shutters. It's seafood. Uh, authentic seafood and you're by the beach you have the best view of the beach the food's good the service is good uh the thing is is they don't want you coming in there in your swim clothes so or, or basketball shorts so uh, just dress up a little bit i mean not like to the nines but you know cargo pants pants uh a t-shirt or a button-up shirt uh but yeah it, it's a good place uh I, I like shutters i recommend shutters so um go and check them out it's a good place to be uh, moving to the beach, uh, the beach is, it's pretty awesome. Uh, it's a good beach, uh, white sand, palm trees. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention, uh, you do get a, a couple of jacuzzis at the main pool area and a place to wash off your feet from the sand. Um, you can see the, uh, the hot tub there bubbling in the background. I'm going to walk over here towards it, but, um, it's a really big hot tub like lots of people can be in there at once so they got one on this side and if you look on the other side there is another one and they're both the same size so uh nice temperatures uh you know relax those muscles if they need if they're tight you can go in there and relax them a little bit but the hot tubs are uh they're pretty good here's the showers to wash off your feet when you have sand after coming from the beach uh, the beach itself, it's, it's beautiful. Um, I'm going to walk towards the uh, ocean so uh, you can see how beautiful the water is. 
like I said, uh, nice white sand. It's, it's powder soft. Uh, gives you a workout when you're working through it. Uh, me and my wife woke up every morning, put on our swimsuits, and uh, ate breakfast, and then we walked the beach. We'd either go to the left or the right. But the water, it's blue. There was very minimal sargasm. Uh, there's also a barrier uh, out towards, like, oh, about a half a mile from the, the beach that's catching a lot of the sargasm. So it's waist deep from the beach all the way out there to that um, barrier. So it's, it's very shallow. Uh, there's those hobby boats out there that are actually included in your stay at Zalara or Ziva and you just got to schedule it. Uh, they're pretty good at um, coordinate that for you. So there's the pier. Uh, I encourage you to go out there and take out, check out that view. It's pretty nice. And there's a lot of fish hang out there, so you'll see needlefish and other types of tropical fish. But the beach is it's perfect. Uh, it's we enjoyed it. it. It is a nice beach. Uh, shout out them. Shout out to them for identifying this beach and building this nice resort here because this is an awesome experience. Here are their swim ups. Uh, we didn't get a first floor swim up. Um, there's not a lot of privacy. I mean, they do some landscaping to maybe. To, hide them a little bit but as you can see from this video you could see pretty easy into someone's uh swim up area so there's no privacy so i don't to me a swim up should be about privacy but you know to each their own so uh, but we didn't see a lot of people swimming in their swim ups we did see like one or two couples doing it but uh not a lot of people were uh in the swim ups it might have just been the week we were there or or something but swim ups don't offer a lot of privacy some privacy but not a lot like some of them did have privacy right like one or two of the the suites but most of them did not have privacy they had sidewalks right beside them and you, you could walk right by them so if you and your spouse or whoever was out there uh you know uh, doing the fun stuff uh, you know clapping back and all that uh, you going people are gonna see you so uh, there's 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 that to think about okay here's some of the restaurants that's the pier right there where those storefront doors are and uh, that's where we ate breakfast uh, the buffet was tremendous like it's a buffet but it's not a buffet where you fix the food yourself they have everything enclosed and sneeze guards and, and some type of glass protection and they serve it to you. Uh, so uh, that's a peace of mind, especially for my wife, who's a germaphobe. So uh, this was Brando's, I believe. Uh, it's the French Italian, uh, French Tahitian. Uh, it was closed. Uh, they did. We did get to eat the food at the other restaurant. They were serving it at the other restaurant. Uh, the One-Eyed Cat, the Martini Bar, it's a cool little spot. It starts popping off at night. So um, basically a guy's in there on a piano. It's almost like a piano bar. He's playing music on top of current music. So as you walk down this hall here, uh, it's kind of where the restaurants are. You know, There's the Martini Lounge, the One-Eyed Cat, and you go further down. And then there's the, uh, I think it's the Indian restaurant. Yes, uh, this is the Indian restaurant. The food was amazing in there. Uh, I think it's called Journeys. Yeah, Journeys Hindu restaurant. And uh, it was it was really good. Uh, you sit inside of a, a train and they serve you food. And uh, they're going choo-choo every time they bring you something out. So it was, a, it was a fun experience. And then you top that with good food and you know, it was it was something we both enjoy. We were there celebrating my birthday, our anniversary, and Mother's Day. We try to wrap it all one, in uh, one trip. So, but yeah, it's a uh, so far uh, thumbs up to uh, Zolara. So this is the sidewalk uh, that takes you to the other side, which is the Ziva side. But in between the Zolara and Ziva side is uh, where they do uh, the concerts. Uh, and they have the sports bar. Uh, this guy right here is a guy that makes sure people on the family side's kids don't come over to the adult side. So if anybody tries to tell you that they can come over, they can't because they, they have people here and at the beach that stand there and they're looking for kids that are trying to come over. So it's they're making sure it's adults only. Shout out to them because that's what we needed. Well, we have kids all the time. So we love kids, but you know when we're getting away, we want no kids so this is basically the theater area they'll do uh 
Michael Jackson, they do Queen, they do rock. I mean, they, you know, it, it's just, they bring in performers and, uh, you know, they get up on stage and they, and they perform. And they usually do it at night, uh, like around 9 o'clock. It usually runs from about 9 to 10. They also did karaoke here one night, uh, for karaoke for family. So if you want to watch kids, you know, sing their favorite songs, you know, just go over there and watch it. So that right there takes you to the Ziva side, which is basically a mirror of the Zalara side, uh, but for families. So that's the sports bar. It's it's really hopping at night. So people just kind of gather there and, and, and just uh, have drinks and have a good time. So uh, that's also the sports bar area. You go in there and uh, I was, I'm a big, I'm an Oklahoma City Thunder fan. So there was a battle uh, for the big screen TV. There's a huge TV in there. Like, so like we want, some of us want to watch NBA. Some people want to watch NHL. I had the uh, grease the pockets of the guy that was in control of the TV so we could watch an NBA game. So I know everybody wasn't happy, but hey, uh, it's NBA playoffs, people. Come on. So on the property, there's plenty of places for rest and relaxation. My wife just happened to love this little swinging chair and we enjoyed it quite a bit. This couple was in agreement with us. We were like both online trying to find out how much that chair was so we could buy one. Uh, it was pretty pricey, but anyway, uh, that storefront window in the back is the gym. And, you know, there's someone running on the treadmill there. Uh, the gym is top-notch elite level. Like, it's going to be as good or better than any gym that you go to right now. Like, it's, shout out to my guy there. It's amazing. Um, the reason why he puts his hand on his chest is they all do it is, is to say service from the heart. And, uh... This is a little shopping here. Uh, we went in there a few times. Sirena, I believe like an hour and a half on Sundays, they, they give you a 20% discount. So look into that. But uh, this, is a, this, is, this is a cool area. Great views also on this third floor. So um, more public areas of rest and relaxation. So... We got a junior suite. Uh, we're not that couple that's going to spend a lot of time in the room. Most of the time, we're going to be out on the grounds, eating, drinking, resting, relaxing, that kind of stuff. But it's a it's a nice room. Uh, it's uh, about what you would find if, in a room uh, on this at this type of resort. Uh, you get your mirrors. You get uh, <clears throat> golly, you get a, a restroom. Uh, they like pocket doors and sliding doors in this facility. It's just all wood, painted painted wood. You get a couple drawers here. Uh, you get your your standard safe. You just enter your four digit pin, and then you know it opens and closes. And then a little decoration here. The closet's pretty small. Uh, it it's it's got an automatic light. Uh, it opens on two sides. So it's enough room for about a week's stay. You know, shelf there at the top. You get your iron and iron and board, which I utilize. And then you get your uh, drawers down below uh, for storage. And then, uh, you know, you get mirrors. Uh, I thought this mirror opened up, but it did not. Do not try to open it because it does not open. Uh, but it's it's a nice, nice room. I mean, tile everywhere. All the painted sheetrock. Um, you know, we had a king bed. I believe it's a 50 to 55 inch uh, TV and you can Chromecast to it. So if you bring your cell phone and you got Chromecast, you can Chromecast all your apps to your TV if you're on their Wi-Fi network. But I mean, king bed, you get a couch, uh, you know, you get the Caribbean decorations, all the colors, you know, two nice stands. Uh, the outlets are, uh, they're hybrids, so they're both the US and European and uh, you get you. You get your uh, phone. We got a, uh, because of our celebration, they gave us uh, wine and uh, champagne and they brought us a cake. Um, you get a little desk and then somewhere to put your luggage. Um, they do give you a chair and, and a refrigerator there, a couple pillows. Uh, it's, it's a nice room. I mean, for the money, it's, it's nice. Um, but like I said, we didn't spend a lot of time in there because it's uh we don't we just like to be out on the property but you don't get any liquor we've been to other properties where they give you liquor in your room so 
I don't know if it's because it was a junior suite, you didn't get liquor, but you didn't get liquor. Anyway, um, take you to the refrigerator. I'll just show you what's in there. Uh, you get a drawer. And then one thing you're not gonna run out of on this resort is bottled water. There's bottled water everywhere. They refill the bottled waters. I probably ate about, I don't know, 12 packs of M&Ms. Never did the orange juice or any of the Presidentes because we were drinking the harder stuff, but we ate a lot of Pringles. <laughs> I mean, it's, they keep you snacked up and, uh, and watered up. So that, you don't have to worry about that because there's water in the restaurants, there's water at the pool, water in your room, and it's all bottled water. So uh, that's a good thing. That was good for me. But on the balcony here, you get a sliding door and uh, the air condition doesn't work once you open this door for a long period of time. So if you want your room to stay cool, keep that door closed and locked because there's a mechanism in the door that tells the air condition to either stay on or turn off. But I mean, it's a decent view. I mean, we, we didn't get any views of the pool or anything, but we got to see everybody as they were coming in to, to the property and just being in awe of how beautiful it is here. So there's some of the swim ups there, but like, as you can see, not many people using them. And it's, it's probably because of the whole privacy thing. Uh, like I said, there is some privacy, like right here in the corner where the landscape is a little bit taller, but the rest of the way, no privacy. So sorry guys, I gotta keep it real. But, you know, we spent a lot of time out here, actually, just, you know, taking interviews and watching people come in and out. There is one outlet out there on the balcony. So, um, but overall, it is a very nice room. It's probably their lowest tier room, but it's still very nice. So, uh, if you book a junior suite, you won't go wrong. So, the bathroom has a cool design. That's the shower there. That and there's two sliding doors so like while your spouse is taking a shower you could be in there watching tv and watching them butt naked in the shower and uh, i kind of enjoyed that it was that was cool but uh it's it was it's a nice shower it's a nice walk-in shower you got your glass around you got a, a wand and then you got a rain head shower up above they do provide you soap shampoo conditioner but we, we happen to have our own it is ada accessible so uh, if you need a little help, they, there's a handrail there, but you know, open storage below the vanities. Uh, I believe everything was, uh, quartz. It seemed like it was quartz, uh, countertops and, uh, with, with wood, uh, bases under them. But, uh, the lighting is pretty decent. Uh, one toilet and, uh, they do a very good job of keeping the towels and the toiletry, uh, stocked up. Okay, so today is May 10th, uh, 2024. We just wrapped up a week here at Hyatt Zalaria Capcana. And uh, here's our personal opinion or personal reviews of what we thought about uh, the all-inclusive adults-only resort uh, for our first time. Um, first impressions, the facilities, the amenities are top-notch. Uh, for this to be about a five, four or five year old uh, resort, it still feels brand new. So that means they're investing the money in the, uh, the maintenance and the infrastructure to keep it looking good. So that when you come here, you feel like uh, what you paid for it, it is worth it. And as you're walking around uh, through uh, the building, you, you see uh, high end interior finishes. Uh, it's, it's properly oriented around the swimming pools. Uh, the landscaping is elite. You got tile on the floors, the walls. You got your wood accents. I mean, just the type of finishes that you would want to see in a high-end, uh, all-inclusive resort. So kudos to them because they designed it well, executed it, and they've been able to maintain it to uh, keep those first impressions when people come in uh, high, so that you feel like, wow, this is this is a, an amazing. Uh, facility okay so the people here have been absolutely fantastic from the people who work on the grounds or the uh, the lawn to the people who are doing maintenance um, the people in the coffee shops and the snack bars and the restaurants uh, the, the room service people um, housekeeping 
Uh, the people at the front desk when we first walked in, literally everyone has been so friendly. We have not had one person that was not exceptional with their uh, customer service. It's been amazing. They have gone way above and beyond. <clears throat> um, we love to tip. Uh, that's just something that we like to do. Um, and so they don't expect a tip, but they are so, so happy if you can give them a few dollars or a five or whatever you can afford. Um, people are so grateful for those extra little tips. Right. Scripture says it's better to uh, give than receive. So we try to bless others when God blesses us. So uh, Marcy has a tipping ministry and that's what that sister just likes to do. She just likes to bless people. So we had about $300 in cash and we just gave it out. Uh, just wherever we felt like the service was exceptional. So, uh, but the restaurants are really good. Uh, they're they're clean. Like I said, uh, it's it, it ties in with just the theme of the resort. The restaurants are a complement to that. So you have a you have shutters, which I believe is authentic Dominican uh, Caribbean or seafood, mm -hmm. and then you've got Wave, which also turns into a steakhouse in the evening. But during the day, you get pizzas, hamburgers. Stuff like that, something you'd find like at a Chili's or uh, you know that type of that type of restaurant, and then they have uh, Indian food, uh, French Tahitian, and then uh, they have a buffet called the Pier, and uh, it's not your standard buffet like where everybody can just shove their hands in the food with dirty fingernails, and maybe they didn't wash their hands at the bathroom, and then it's kind of giving you anxiety. They actually have sneeze guards and, pla and glass guards that protect the food. So they make the food for you and hand it to you after you tell them what they want. So that gave Marcy a peace of mind because that sister, uh, she's a nurse and she just, she knows uh, the craziness of germs and stuff like that. So she was so happy to see that type of buffet. And then, uh, but the food was exceptional. Um, if you found, if you ordered something you didn't like, you can order something else. You can just keep ordering until you find something that you like. So, and they're, they're always happy to uh, help you find something. That, if you order something that, that you didn't like, and my favorite saying is, uh, when you ask us something, they go, it's, it's my pleasure. I'm like, wow, how comforting is that to hear somebody say it's, it's my pleasure. So, uh, but the food is great. You're not gonna go wrong uh, from uh, the restaurants to the sports bar to the, uh, one-Eyed Cat Martini Lounge. I mean, it's all of the restaurants are top notch. So uh, kudos to them. They're doing a fantastic job with restaurants, food, and drinks. Don't forget to get those double shots in your drink. Uh, if you feel like uh, they're lacking a little liquor, trust me, it, uh, it helps. Marcy was overzealous on our first day and that sister kind of lost herself and we had to recover a little bit. Uh, in the uh, evening before we came out for evening activities. Um, so also the beach and the pool. So the beach is beautiful. Uh, they do a great job of, um, there's minimal seaweed here. It's not like, you know, Mexico's getting just beat down with seaweed right now. Uh, the Dominican Republic has some, but not not much and they clean it up and it, and it looks beautiful. Um, we walked all the way out to the seaweed barrier and it only got to about uh, waist about high. Waist deep. Um, and it's a lot, I mean, it's a good amount of water that you can walk to, or right. walk through. Yeah, so half a mile out into the ocean, it's still light blue, aqua blue, up to your waist, so that's, um, that's all cool. of the All of the non-motor water sports are included and so we did like um, a yeah. Hobie Cat yeah. and it was really fun. It's free, so you just gotta schedule it. Yeah, schedule it a couple of days in advance. Um, they also had like the uh, stand-up paddle boards and they had canoes and kayaks. Right. Um, I'm not sure what else they had, but they had some other things. Right. Uh, also, the pools are wonderful. So we didn't do club level, we just did a regular room. Um, and the, it's called the main pool where we were, and there was lots of music going, right. and there's some live entertainment sometimes, um, but it's really happening. Everybody is enjoying themselves there, 
And um, then there's also the club pool if you are part of that. Right. Um, I think they pay somewhere. I've, <clears throat> I've heard some people pay as little as like $80 a day for club and some people pay up to $150. I think it just depends on when you book. But um, they have a more quiet, calm, uh, relaxing vibe over there. Um, but for us, it's not worth the difference in price. I mean, uh, okay. some people like it. Right, like we're fun people. Like if you are on vacation at the resort and you want peace and quiet, uh, you want to just kind of be left alone, then you probably want to go to the uh, club. To the club levels because their pool is quiet. I mean, it's minimal noise. People are barely talking. They're just more of just soaking it in by themselves. But if you like like louder music, uh, you know, if you like activities, if you like just to meet new people, like while you're out on vacation, then just the general uh, population pool is is where you want to be because that's where all the activities are. That's where they bring the food. Uh, <coughs> Whether it's uh, food trucks or they just right behind the landscape near the pool, they'll they'll bring out some different type of food every day. So, uh, but I always notice people from the the uh, well, why do I keep forgetting that? Club side. The club side would always come to the uh, activity area where we were after they were uh, you know done with just having a long time. So that's kind of the difference between the two pools. Do you want? Rest and relaxation with no noise, or do you want to be around people having fun? And you know, not too crazy, but just you know having fun and enjoying their time off. So also, um, we we don't do swim ups for that same reason. We like to be out there with all the people. Right. And when we were walking around, we noticed not very many people were actually in their swim ups. We have seen some people swimming in their swim ups, but not very many. I think so. Um, Zalara, on the other side of Zalara is Ziva, and that's the kids' side. Um, so one thing of note, which I think is very important to know, you will never see kids over on the Zalara side. They have people monitoring that, right. and there will literally never be kids over here. Yeah. Now, the adults, if they stay on the Ziva side, they can come over to the Zalara side, and that's, you know, great. And vice versa, like, Zalara can go Oh, yeah, yeah. To Ziva we can side. go over there. Um... But, uh, but what I was going to say is, um, if I had kids, I think a swim up would be, I mean, we do have kids, but if I had kids that I was bringing with me, I think a swim up would be great. Um, just because you could kind of be more contained, but, um, on the adult side, it just depends again. Like, do you want just complete peace and quiet and tranquility or do you want to be out where all the fun is and do the people watching and all of that? Right. And, then, uh. <clears throat> So they do, they do go out of the way to make sure that kids aren't trying to sneak from the family side to the adults only side. So don't let anybody tell you that because I checked it myself. So there's a, I don't want to say a guard, but there's definitely a security person standing there making sure kids aren't coming in over to the adult side. And then also at the, on the, at the beach area, same thing. There's a couple of guys out there making sure nobody's trying to sneak over or whatever. So. They're definitely going out of their way to make sure it's adults only and that you're getting your money's worth of adults only. So, a lot of people just want to escape kids. I have kids. This is my opportunity to escape kids. So, I appreciate that. Shout out to uh, Zalaria for going out of their way for us. So, um, I would say that areas to improve or opportunities to improve here at Zalaria are gonna be like the smoking <coughs> and the vaping uh now there are designated smoking and vaping areas i believe but i, I think either people just were breaking the rules or they just didn't care but uh i don't smoke or vape and i i don't want to sm smell your smoke or your vape i mean i fully respect that you want to do that to yourself and that's fine but you know don't make the rest of us have to you know smell your cigars or cigarettes or your vape smoke like be respectful and stick to the designated area so i would say find the balance between forcing people to respect those boundaries and not just letting them smoke and vape and do all that wherever they want to uh within the general population so 
I would enforce that. I mean, I know it maybe it's tricky because people are paying for this, but I would, I would enforce that somehow. Come up with a way to enforce that. I would, I would try to improve that. So, uh, what would you say about the nightlife? So the nightlife here definitely has room for improvement. Um, okay, so they have entertainment um, on the Zalara side in the evening, starting at like seven o'clock or seven fifteen, and it's usually like karaoke or maybe it's a band playing for dancing or whatever. Well, we were always eating at that time, and most everyone we talked to was eating at that time. So. Um, if they would just start that stuff on the adult side, maybe at like nine o'clock or something, I think that would go over way better. Right. I think they would have a big crowd. Right. Um, but because it was during dinner time, nobody really was over there. <clears throat> also, on okay, so in between the Zalara and the Ziva side, there is an outdoor amphitheater. It's really cool how it's set up. But um, they would have entertainment. That again started around seven o'clock. Uh, sometimes it was um, more so for kids, but usually it's for families. Um, but the kids are very well behaved there, and again, there's people there that are watching to make sure nobody's acting crazy. Um, but the shows all ended at like 10. ten, and um, so then there was nothing really to do out there, and that could have been like such a cool like outdoor nightclub or something where you could do some dancing, maybe started at 10, ended at 11.30 or whatever. Right, right. And that the sports bar doesn't even close till two, so, you know, people are up to about right. two. So. Right, because the sports bar is directly across from that, and so, you know, like when the guys are all in there watching basketball and stuff, all the girls could be out dancing or whatever, and I think that would be a really good use of that space. Right. Um, also... They have a martini bar called the One-Eyed Cat. One-Eyed Cat? Yeah, it's yeah. the One-Eyed Cat. Yeah. And um, it was a cool place, um, but it would get really packed and really loud, and then there was nowhere to sit and stuff. So um, the, the sports bar, though, is really cool. Yeah. Like, that, you can play pool in there. Um, there's lots of seating. Um, there's lots of TVs. The bartenders are great in there. And uh, anyway... But they could maybe, if they had a little bit more nightlife catered to adults in the evenings, maybe that would go to 11.30 or 12. Don't even have to go that late. Right. Um, but I think that that could really, you know, make this property just be a right. diamond in the rough. Like it would be Absolutely. Amazing. Absolutely. And I would say, you guys, Hyatt, Zalaria, you guys are like one nightclub away, like one dedicated nightclub away from probably being the best ranked number one all-inclusive all adults only resort definitely in the whole caribbean and area so but if if you don't want to do that i would at the very least do a better job of coordinating dining times with nightly activities because it's almost like they're going on at the same time so like if you want to go to karaoke, which starts at 7, 7.30, you're almost having to eat lunch, I mean, dinner at 5. Well, most people are still in the pool. So it's well, just like... Well, and the restaurants don't open until um, like 6. Like 6. So but, there's, um, a, there's a breakdown there. But I think there's some opportunities where you, that if you don't want to do a dedicated club, like just do a better sequencing of uh, dining and uh, uh, activities. Well, and this isn't just like our opinion. Like, we met tons of people over right. here, and literally everyone we talked to was like, man, I wish there was something to do. Like, I wish they had a club we could dance or whatever. Right. And so, I'm telling you, like, that's the only thing right. I feel like you guys are really missing on. Right. And I think you would be, like, far above everyone else if you could do that. Right. So, but yeah, that, that was feedback coming from uh, other couples. That was feedback coming from uh, some ladies that were on girls' trips. Yeah, mother daughter. Mother daughter, and like girls. just a, you know three wives, uh, and then you know we ran into some younger people too. So it, it, it was it was common, and we never even brought it up. They kind of just brought it up themselves. So uh, there were some areas of opportunity there. So I mean, if you listen to this advice, fantastic. If you don't, well, I think you're still gonna get. Uh, complaints about uh, your activities at night your, or your nightlife, but do we recommend Hyatt Zalaria Capcana uh, as a place that you want to visit? Absolutely. 
And another thing that we didn't mention is they have a water park. And the water park is really fun. Yeah, um, it was really fun. We went and so they have one slide that's like for inner tubes and then like three other slides that are just, you know, you just lazy go down. River, yeah. And then a lazy river and then like a little kid's water park splash pad place. And over in that area, they have a food truck and... Um, they have two so, food trucks. Yeah, yeah, and they have outdoor bathrooms and everything. And it is really nice, like a really nice area. Um, we went, there were some kids over there, really it wasn't packed with kids. And, um, but it would be such a great place to take kids if you were staying on the Ziva side. Right. So just keep that in mind too. Like not, I've not been to another adults only resort where they had a water park or, you know, where you had access to the water park. Right. Anyway, we, we hope this review helps you. Uh, we had a good time here at, at this resort. Uh, it was probably uh, some better nighttime activities away from just being the best we've ever been to, but uh, there's, it's definitely somewhere you have to at least visit at least once. Uh, if they fix a few things, this may be somewhere you come like more than once. So I mean, anyway. I would come back as it is now, but I would come back way more often if they if they just, you know, had a nightclub too. Right. So I don't know if I would, but you know, I like to I like to try other places, but uh anyway, hope this helps you. We love you all. God bless you as you go. And uh tune in for the next video.